Welcome back, First Hour Faithfuls, to yet another episode of the First Hour. This is the show where I, Colin Tanner from Video Games Are Dumb, and you, the legions of First Hour Faithfuls, take a look at the first hour of a recently released video game. And today, we are taking a look at something very, very special. So please, like, subscribe, and bring the fire in the comments below for this episode, Earthbound? How is that possible? This is on the Nintendo Entertainment System. This is recently released on the Virtual Console. Well, before we get started, I do kind of want to explain a little bit about the significance of this game. This game is technically known as Mother, whereas the game that we know as Earthbound on the Super Nintendo is known as Mother 2. From there, there was Mother 3 on the Game Boy Advance. The original Earthbound, or Mother, on the NES was intended to be released in America. In fact, it was fully translated. However, Nintendo decided not to release it for whatever reason. They just backed away from it and then eventually released Mother 2 as Earthbound. So, people have been climbing for Mother 3. They've been climbing for Earthbound. We got Earthbound last year on the Wii U Virtual Console and today they've announced and released the original Mother or Earthbound on the Virtual Console. Now here's my one question. Is this a new translation, or is this the translation they never released? If it's the translation they never released, that's actually not that great. There have been a number of fan translations, in fact there's one that even includes something called the Easy Ring that makes this RPG a little more simple for uh, players, because this game is quite difficult. That translation left in a lot of the humor, pop culture, and even religious uh, references. So a lot of those were removed for the North American release that was uh, never released. So let's see what we're getting into here. Earthbound or Mother 1 on the NES. What's the boy's name? Well, it's gotta be Colin. I'm Colin with one L, damn it. So many birthday cards from my youth. Just awful. What's the girl's name? Hmm, we're gonna go with... Kelly! I don't actually know a Kelly. Well, I, I know, I know a Kelly. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> what? A character in this game already has that name. Oh, um, hmm, okay. Uh, all right, it looks like it's old Kim. Good old Kim, here she is. What's the other boy's name? Well, tch, that's easy. That's good old Jack. Everybody loves Jack. You don't know Jack? Oh, you should. <laughs> good guy, good guy. What's the last boy's name? Um, well that's uh, that's obviously Jason right there. Jason is a cool dude. He knows how to throw a raging party too. And uh, he knows how to get a keg. I don't, like any time of the day, I don't know how he does that. What's my favorite food? It's gotta be tacos. I know that's like a funny answer. I love tacos. I love tacos. All right. Yeah, this is uh, this is good. This is a good lineup we got going on here. In the early 1900s, a dark shadow covered a small country town in rural America. At that time, a young married couple vanished mysteriously from their home. The man's name was George. The woman's name was Maria. Two years later, as suddenly as he left, George returned. He never told anyone where he had been or what he had done, but he had begun an odd study all by himself. As for Maria, his wife, she never returned. Oh. What a killer opening, huh? Just beautiful music. Well, I guess I can skip that. Eighty years have passed since then. All right, let's get into it. Earthbound. Yes, this is what the game looks like. And, you know, it's pretty simple. Um, let's see, I'm using the D-pad right here. Now, normally, they believe if you check the bureau here. Who are you talking to? Let's check the bureau. No problem. <laughs> there was the easy ring in the emulated version. No problem. Let's go say hi to mom and dad. Now, I never beat this game, but I have played it in the past. Uh, uh, this isn't right. 
And here we are, this is an RPG. Lamp draws near! Lamp's attack. Colin suffered damage of one. Colin's attack. Lamp suffered damage of three. Yes! Lamp's attack. Colin suffered damage of one. Colin's attack. Lamp suffered damage of two. Lamp doesn't move anymore. You win! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lamp doesn't move anymore. Lamp should never move in the first place, you know? Oh, everything's wrong. Um, hmm. I can't really put my finger on it, but it feels incredibly stiff. Like, it's almost like my D-pad isn't responding. But I use my D-pad in other games for the Virtual Console, so that can't be it. Now, you can see the enemies coming at you, if I'm not mistaken, for most of the game. This game has some brutal parts, especially there's this one part in a cave, and it... Oh my god. Without the easy ring, I can't imagine what that's even like. Alright, Lamp won't be moving anymore. That's right, Lamp doesn't move anymore. I win. Very good. Oh my brother, our house is falling apart. Boo hoo! Okay, well, you're actually taking it rather well. Alright, let's uh, check this room. Uh oh, the doll, the doll! Help me! Oh god, the doll. Gotta stop the doll. Doll draws near. Ooh, creepy, naked doll. Doll's attack. Damage of one. Come on, buddy. I got damage of three right here for you. Every single time. That's what really separated this RPG from so many others was the humor and also just how weird it was. I mean, dolls are coming to life, lamps are coming to life, and you're fighting them within like the first 10 minutes of the game. You know you've got something a little special when really at this time, you know, uh, science fiction had been explored, whatever that Langier point or whatever that is on the NES, but it never come to America. You know, by American standards, RPGs were fantasy games, and that was about it. On consoles, I should say. I'm well aware that, you know, PCs and even text adventures, yada, yada, yada. Next level, baby. Fight has increased by two. Speed has increased by two. Wisdom has increased by three. Strength has increased by two. Force has increased by three. Yeah, I always used to speed up the game with, like, a speed hack, you know, right around now, because it would just... It takes a while whenever you level up. The phenomenon has stopped for the moment. I was scared to death! Explanation point, explanation point. Oh wow, check out what's hidden inside the doll. Who are you talking to? That is a good point. I don't know who I'm talking to. An old music box. As the music box was wound up, a melody began to play. Colin remembered the tune. And that's important. You do need to memorize music. I forget where that falls into place for this game. It's like special uh, attacks, I want to say. You can call your dad. This is your dad. Well, seems like a poltergeist. I'm not exactly sure how to, but your great grandfather studied PSI. You might find something in the basement to help, but I left the basement key someplace. Can't remember exactly where. Anyhow, son, you are my only hope. It's time for you to go on a little adventure and explore the potential of your powers. Powers not to be taken lightly. Go, Colin. For go for it. Okay, I read that wrong. But remember to come back and check on our family. Bye. Oh, phone me and I will save your progress. Call me whenever you want. Slam. Yeah, your dad saves your progress in the game. It's really weird. It's awesome. Colin, are you alright? Egad, what is happening to our house? I wish your dad was here now. Maybe. Alright, so I can... This is the basement right here, by the way. Huh, check. No problem. No problem. No problem. I think the key is outside? Maybe I'm crazy. We'll come back to it later. I think that's where you get the... Bat? Maybe. Ah, the basement key's on the dog's collar. Got it. And hey, let's talk. When you find something strange, be sure to check it out every time. 
Like a talking dog, maybe. Good music. Oh man, that music's so good. The series has always had some of the best music in video game history. Uh, goods? Basement key. Use. Pretty archaic by today's standards, but this was uh, quite special when it came out. Even though the graphics didn't look all that great, even when it was released. GGF's Diary. Colin got GGF's Diary. Now that present's evil and will attack me, the one up there, if I'm not mistaken. There was bread. Colin got bread. Good. Colin got bread. Oh, the plastic bat. Right. You don't get the wooden bat till later. Ah, nuts! I didn't equip it. Love this music. Smash! Oh, I already have the, the bats already just attached. Colin dodged swiftly. Oh, damage it too. A rat under dirty words. Colin's fight. All right. It's kind of like Pokemon in a weird way. Rat became quiet. Didn't die. Became quiet. Ah. Yeah. Okay. You, oh, but, but, you, you always can't see the random uh, battles. They come out of nowhere. I thought you could see. I don't know where I got that idea. That no. No, you, you can in some areas, I could swear. Besides the intro. I don't think I equipped the bat, even though it said smash. I really don't think I equipped the bat. Because I think smash happens regardless. Oh yeah, baby. I win. Okay, cool. Now it's equipped. Awesome. Well, now I gotta go to town. And look out for some hippies. Yes, I said that, and I mean that. And zombies. There's some great stuff in this game. Colin's house. Well, even though I'm a child, I guess I own the house. Listen to those drums, man. Yeah, he controls a lot better once he's outside the house. The hippie draws near! Call on attacks. The hippie suffered damage of four. The hippie used bullhorn. Your mother is calling for you. And Colin believed it. Call this fight. <laughs> ah, I don't think that was in the translation. Let's do auto. Because at this point, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to keep attacking. The hippie's attack. Ooh, damage of five. I gotta get that bread after this battle. Oh, God. He's gonna lower my fight. Ooh, which means that... Obviously, your fight... Okay, good, because it was already decreased. I gotta... I gotta use some goods. Just to be safe. Just to be safe, guys. Cool. Good. Hippie is meditating. Well, I got bad news. Can I use my side powers? I don't have them yet. Alright. Just love that surf wave, man. It's the way to do it. Oh my god! This is like so brutal. Like, you can take these guys out in one hit not too long after this. Oh, thank God. No, wait, what? Uh... I gotta run. The hippie's kicking my ass, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where can I go? Who can I see? What should I do? What should I do? My little pippy is gone. If you're going to Podunk, please tell the mayor. Oh me, oh my. Oh, oh yeah, the mayor. I'm gonna have to run from every battle I see. Got that classic NES pop in at the very bottom of the screen. 
I I can't, buddy. I no way. Oh god. Oh thank god. I just gotta get away, man. I got my cash card, so. I should be free of battles very soon. I think I'm free of battles now. Excuse me, very weird looking person. I'm trying to talk to this person. Did a poltergeist visit your house? It tore mine apart. Sorry, dude. I need to get some items for health. Pronto. There's just a mouse here. Come here, I want to talk to you. Come on. Oh my god. He he he, I am the noisy mouse. Some buildings you can enter, some you cannot. If the door is round or has a sign, go on inside. The rest of the doors will not open for you. Bye! It says I have telepathy, but I don't know, man. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Set up. Oh god, I'm so stupid. The B button is for run. Huh, it's like it speeds up the game. That wasn't in the original, was it? I don't believe it was, but... but you can't go in that door because it's not round. Don't tell me you've been south to the cemetery. Okay. Will not tell. Is this the mayor? That's not the mayor. Someone must be controlling the dead. Oh yeah, the zombies. Good god, this music. So good. Hey, isn't this my friends? The Canary Village is northwest from here. It's a nice place to visit, and mission is free. Uh, the animals went mad and out of control. The dead became zombies and began attacking people. What can be done? Alright, I can go into the hotel. Thank you. Welcome! $39 for- Whoa! 39 bucks. This is why that easy ring in the emulated version is so necessary. This game's brutal, man. How may I help you? Do you have something in return? Yes. Which one? Sorry, but I can't buy basement key from you. This place is not on the map. Password. The one who lost the tail. The forgotten one. The ship that sails. Yeah, that's right. That doesn't help. <laughs> Not enough money. I can't even make the phone call. God, I, I got nothing. I mean, I know this part of the game, but... That easy ring, I, I depended on it really badly because this game is brutal, man. Especially starting off. Like, you gotta grind for, you know, a while. If you really want to get far, which, hey, with the Wii U gamepad, you know, while you're watching something, you could probably be grinding for a long time. Kind of wish this was on the 3DS, too. That would be cool. So the zoo is locked. I gotta find the mayor. Oh my god, a hospital. Oh my god. Oh, hey, hi, hey, ooh. You gotta help me. You gotta help me. Huh? What do you mean? I'm here. I'm here for the hospital. I need to be taken care of. I'm a small boy and it's horrible. There is a problem, boy. Big problem. Hmm. What about this place? Can I go in here? Ooh, 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 what am I doing? I should be checking these. What do you mean? No problem. Let's... Hmm. All right, wait, oh, 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 secret door. Hello. Are you Mickey Mouse or something? 
Well, well, I'll treat each of you for 25 each. You don't have enough money. Come back when you do. Damn healthcare system. Won't even help a small child that was beat up by a hippie. And a centipede. And a lamp. And a doll. Well, good riddance. I don't need you either. Where is that damn mayor? He'll help me out. Oh, is this the mayor? That might be the mayor. You are really going to the cemetery? Yes. I thought you were a sensible child. <laughs> oh, crap! I left the town! Oh, no! No, 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 no. I gotta go, I gotta go. Oh, don't. Oh, for good. Oh, do, do, do! Oh, crap, Wally. These guys are pretty damn tough, too. But it didn't work! Wally's attack! <sighs> oh my god. You lost the battle. Colin, Colin! You seem to be worn out from fighting. One more time? Yes, let's continue. With his strength. Regain, Colin return once more to the fighting scene. Do your best, Colin. I will! I made a few mistakes. I can admit that. I ran from the hippie. I tried to run from the Wally. But it didn't work. But today is a different story. Today is the day that I stand up for myself. Give me money. Yeah, give me money. You're supposed to give me money, right? No, no. Okay, great. I thought you gave me money. Come on, Mom. Hey, yeah, great. They, they, yeah. Yeah, when you talk about tacos again. Hey, can, can we get... Oh, my God. Give me the money. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. This is your dad. I've transferred fifty-four dollars into your account. Yes! I knew that it was somewhere around here. After you spent the uh, the balance is fifty-four dollars. Spend your money wisely. Well, the next level requires twelve for Colin. By the way, do you want to save? Yeah, I'll do it right now. Thanks, Daddy. No, good luck. Slam. I am Minnie. What can I do for you? Take out. You haven't left me with anything. Oh yeah, you can leave her with items. Okay. I swear to God, I've got 54 health. Or at least I have 54 dollars. Come on, hippie. Where are you? Wally, huh? I remember you, Wally. Oh yeah, I remember you. I'm gonna beat the crap out of him. Because if I, if I win this battle, I'll be able to uh, level up. God, even with the bat. I can survive this. Come on, Wally. You and your judging eyes and your pitchfork, you're going down, baby! Damn. For every attack I give him, he gives me one more damage. How can I match? Oh, crap! Why don't I ever dodge this stupid thing? I've just, I've got to win one of these battles because I need to level up. Oh, baby! While he regained all his senses, you win. Wait, I didn't level up? Shit. Am I in the village? I am in the village. I am in the village. All is good. Now the mayor is around here somewhere. That's a picture of a burger. City Hall. Good. I'll share the secret with you later. Thanks, weird lady. Yeah, it's really stiff. I am Abbott, not the town mayor, but his assistant. Mr. Mayor is over there. 
Citizen, I know you'd like to help your town. Well, a child is straight into the cemetery. And I'm up for re-election soon. You must help. Please help me. Yes. Oh? You will go there and save her? Return her to me alive and surely I'll be a hero. Er, um, I mean, you'll be a hero. Alright, crap. Alright, what's the secret, lady? Oh, yeah, you're a real help. Good for you. Good. You're a help. You helped me so much. Alright. So, what I gotta do... Yeah, I don't want to return anything. <laughs> Good. Thank you for shopping with us today. What is this thing exactly? Um, okay. Oh! Trust $74. I don't want the drugs, I want the sporting goods, which is up here. See, I told you I played this game. I totally remember this. Oh, I'll... I already have the plastic bat. Hmm. I wonder if I can sell the plastic bat, because I'm at 74 and I need 120, so I need $44. I, I didn't mean to do that. Oh man, wait, hold on. Gotta go to state. Wait, you can't equip the plastic bat? Why can't I do that? Huh, alright. I guess you have to have that, like, at least one weapon equipped. Well, shit. I gotta go back there and get some drugs then. Give this small boy some drugs. Welcome, what can I sell you? Eh? Life up cream? Yeah. Hmm. No, I'm good. Hope that actually helps me. Alright, so if it's not the sporting goods. Foods. Yeah. Wanted to buy some orange juice. Alright, no. Pet? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, I'm not gonna buy the canary. If it's free, do you want to take it then? Well, what? Did he actually give me the canary? Yeah, he did. I think something is controlling the animals. Great theory. This is your dad. I've transferred $20 into your account. After the amount you've spent, the balance is zero dollars. Spend your money wisely. Well then, the next level requires seven for Colin. By the way, do you want to save? No. Wait, does saving actually uh, bring me my health back? I'm gonna say yes. Okay, but I was thinking about going to sleep now. Good night. I wonder what this does. Can I rest? Okay, let's see if that actually worked. There we go. Continue. Let's check my state. Nope, didn't, didn't, didn't do anything. That's cool. Hey, whatever. That's cool. Hey, whatever. We're all having fun. We're all having fun on the Earthbound. Hmm.
This game is so brutally difficult that that easy key in the emulated versions really made this uh, a genuine playable experience. And I'm really concerned that without that, it just wouldn't be sensible to play. Um, uh, where's the cemetery exactly? Yeah, I'm going to the cemetery. All right, so the cemetery should be over to the right, somewhere around there. Like down to the right, I can't really remember. I can't afford it. I can't afford it. It didn't work. That's okay. It didn't work. That is a-okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nintendo. Thank you for not changing anything about this game. Thank you about that. Thank you. God. God. Brilliant, Nintendo. I mean, it's only what, uh... It's only what the fans did after the game came out. It's only what's considered the definitive edition. Oh, a, a, a damage of 12. That's okay. Thank God. Mm-hmm. Uh, seriously, guys. Uh... Emulation, you know, uh, buy this game on the eShop and then just immediately play the emulator version with the easy key. It's the only way to play this game. This game is so brutally hard. I mean, you level up faster, you don't take as much damage, but it's still fair. It's not like it's a cheat. It doesn't feel cheap at all. It just feels like... Oh god. It reduces the number of battles, but it gives you more experience. Hmm. Come on. Probably this will be the last hit. Yeah, dodge swiftly. Hell yeah. Oh wow, he's taking a lot more damage than I thought he would. Oh my god, the snake is dodging my attacks now. Okay, cool. Hey, cool! It just keeps dodging my attacks, which is really cool. Oh thank god, please tell me that automatically gives me my health back. Uh, come on, speed up, speed up. Oh boy. Um, yeah, no, no, uh, with no health regeneration, I can't go into the cemetery. I've been there, I played that part. It's very difficult as is. Oh, good. No, sure. Hey, sure. Let me see. Uh, is it just not gonna work again? Oh, it didn't work again. Okay. Hey, Wally attacked me though. Oh, okay, I got to dodge it. How about fucking run? Because it's absolutely impossible. It's absolutely impossible to take him on. You shall become a zombie. Ah, oh, fuck. <sighs> but it didn't work. But it didn't work. So I have limited amount of money to get resources, to give me health, and I'm attacked constantly, which the enemies are significantly more powerful than me. A single battle can devastate and destroy my character. Do you see how that might be a fucking problem, Nintendo? Do you see why the fans create the Easy Ring version? I mean, you know, it's nothing against the very first mother. It was the very first of its kind. And I understand trying to preserve the history of the game. I get it, man, but come on. That is so fucking bogus. Christ.
I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. That's stupid, Nintendo. You're fucking stupid for putting this out without any sort of adjustments. At least, okay, okay, hear me out. At least, here's, here's, here's what you do. Hear me out, hear me out, okay? Regular mode, regular mode, advanced. Easy mode, normal. Huh? No, can't do that. I know you just had the ROM laying around, and I appreciate the effort of releasing it and actually acknowledging that this game exists. Not Mother 3, mind you. But uh, the game is brutal. Borderline impossible in some areas. Unless you, uh, you know. Alright, well, I gotta go back up and just grind, because fuck, man, what else am I gonna do? Oh, the Canary Village, you gotta go there later on. Alright, well... Man. I mean, the rest of this video will be me grinding. Because it's literally impossible for me to do anything else, and I'm sorry about that. I wish I could show you more of the game, but that's not how this game works. I mean, it really is just, you know, attack this, attack that, attack this, attack that. I mean, with the easy ring, I would recommend this game. Completely. It's a classic. It just happens to have some major issues. Alright, okay, Wally. This guy will destroy me. I mean... What are you doing, Nintendo? Of course, they don't want to acknowledge that emulators exist or anything. That's why when the guy who created the Mother 3 English translation praised universally by professional translators, he offered it to Nintendo for free. Nintendo said no. Nintendo said no, no, no. Actually, they didn't say no, they said nothing. Nothing! Which is such bullshit. Like, I, I mean, they acknowledged this uh, Mother 3 last year. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming Mother 3 is probably gonna come out sooner or later. And it really should. But like, what kind of translation will we get? You know, will it be as good as that other... I mean, really, that, that Mother 3 translation is out of this world. As is the translation for this. Um, which you can just find all over the internet, you know. Uh, you know, actually, hold on. I take it back. You can't play this with the easy ring. You have to play Mother 1 plus 2 on the Game Boy Advance. That's how you play the easy ring version. Because uh, they released 1 plus 2 on a, as a compilation on uh, the Game Boy Advance. Right before Part 3 came out, I want to say. Um, the translation does not include Mother 2 or Earthbound because the creator was like, Hey, guys, I just translated all of Mother 1. Cut me some slack. You guys all like the original Earthbound translation, don't you? Well, just keep using that. I mean, you know... Uh, oh, he took my antidote away. That's cool. Way cool. Thank you so much. I mean, it's not like it's a real chore or anything to actually do this whole battle system. But, you know, when you're putting it on auto, there has to be some sort of like, eh, I don't know, man. It's just, you know, auto. It's not really playing a game. And there is a game here worth playing! It's just so fucking difficult. Still love the music, though. Some of the best music you're ever going to find on the NES. Um, real shame this was never released initially. I'm not sure how well it would have done, to be honest. It was later in the NES's life cycle. Oh, wait, hold on, I died. I lost the battle, so I gotta start over. Ah, man. Big mistake on my part, huh? <laughs> yeah, big mistake on my part. Yep, I screwed up. I screwed up! 
I mean, really, I gotta run back home. That's what I gotta do. So that I keep eating the tacos and then stepping out and going into an auto battle. For about, you know, an hour or so. You know, it, I actually did use the auto battle when I was doing the whole, um... Oh boy. The emulation thing. And the way that that really worked was I would just use like the speed hacks and it was just like it was nothing. Hippie flew into a rage. Where they, uh, they run out of uh, wheatgrass juice at the co-op there, Hippie. I actually do go to a, uh, I go to a co-op. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of, I kind of like it. They're fun, at least. Alright, there we go. Hippie regained all his senses. That's why all this stuff is happening anyway. I don't want to spoil what's controlling them. But if you played the original Earthbound, or the SNES Earthbound, you already know. It's not a huge shock. Alright. Still would have preferred playing this on the 3DS. Um, you know, something, you, I see this a lot with a lot of uh, uh, mobile games. Uh, people will be playing some sort of Japanese mobile game on their Android device. It's always Android is what I've noticed. And, and the, the game is just sitting there and automatically doing everything. And, uh, you know, people like it, so I'm not judging. Um, and that's just what happens. So, I mean, if there was some way to do that, you know, on the 3DS, to have a game like that, especially with one that has as cool of a story and as funny of a script as Mother 1, that'd be cool. Alright, so now I just gotta grind back and forth. Do modern JRPGs even really encourage grinding? I mean, whenever I play like the Tales of Exilia games, they're pretty, uh... Oh, now nobody wants to attack me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, I'm not supposed to be here. Ah, uh, centipedes don't level you up that much. I mean, you know, it's, uh... It's actually a pretty great game. It's just a real shame that they went this route. I mean, I'm running out of things to really say, you know, in regards to it. It's um, unfortunate choices that Nintendo has made. Oh man, the stray dog. Oh yeah. I mean, I really hope that. Uh, you know, Mother 4 does pretty well. And you might be saying, wait a minute, there's no Mother 4. Okay, there are two Mother 4s. Follow me on this. The creator of Mother 1, 2, and 3 has said that Mother 4 is your life. And that you are experiencing Mother 4 right now. Which means I'm playing Mother 4, playing the original Mother. That's pretty far out. However, there is a group of fans. Oh, the side power. Thank God. Holy crap. That levels the playing field so much. That's like your magic attack, except it's like side si power, you know. There's a fan made Mother 4 that's going to be coming out. And uh, I will encourage all of you to go check out that trailer and go to SoundCloud and check out the soundtrack, which has already been released. It looks incredible. It looks in freaking incredible. Like, I couldn't believe it. I better call my dad and see if he give me more money. No problem. This is your dad. I've transferred $123 into your account. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Alright. No, I don't want to save. Crap. I do want to create a save point, though. <sighs> so with $123, I can go get that slingshot. What? There we go. I forget if you use the B button if you're less likely, like when you're running, if you're less likely to encounter enemies. I mean, I'm definitely going to encounter probably at least two battles before I reach town. Um... 
Right? Holy crap, what happened? Remember the first time I went here? Just skimmed right through there, like, eh, whatever. Eh, screw it. There's a hotel. The department store. I had an antidote, but a fucking crow stole it. Love this music. Ah, oh, god damn it. It's cuz- mm, okay. I don't have enough money because I have to go to the card thing. Alright, use the cash card. Use. Alright, I better take all one hundred and twenty three dollars like all the machines like thank you very much the machines talking to me rage against the machine love how they have a slingshot at this shop no 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 I need something else lady okay slingshot nope so is the food down here? That's drugs, so I need the food. So I can get the orange juice. Wait, no, I should sell the bat. Alright, so I'll sell the bat so I can buy the food. Uh, talk. Yes. Plastic bat. 40 for it. Yes. Yes. Awesome, which means I can buy a loaf of bread and um, some. Uh, oh yeah, just walk away, lady. That's cool. It's so stiff. It's really hard to get those people's attention. Loaf of bread. Yes. Yes. Get a bunch of orange juice. How much time do we have left? Uh, about 13 minutes. And a lot of this video has been me complaining. And I'm right! I'm absolutely right to complain. It's outrageous what they do. I mean, it's not like this easy ring thing. The easy ring thing is a new idea. I mean, there were... Uh, it took a long time to translate the game. That concept existed for a really long time. Alright, create a save point. There we go. Alright. Love those drums. Alright, let's get the zombie guy. A taste of his own medicine with my amazing slingshot. Bad news, buddy. Slingshot's gonna take care of you. 11 damage! Really, guys? Let's. Oh, and he dodged my attack! That's cute! That's a cute thing they made. Oh, okay, hey, whatever. So one more attack, I'm dead? Is that what you mean? Earthbound, available on the virtual console right now. What the fuck? You guys can see how this is insane, right? Like how much money you have to spend to get the goods to give yourself health and how much health that you lose in every single battle, right? Just wanted to make sure we're all on the same track here. That's cool. Just dodge every attack I send out there. I'm not fucking with you, dude. Alright, I should be able to take this guy out in two hits as opposed to three now. Smash! He might be dead altogether. Nope. One more attack. Yeah, so that's really increased attack. Get a virtual point. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Eh, never mind. Now these crows aren't so bad, so I can auto fight this guy too. Woo! 17! Was it like 3? Yeah, it was gonna be 3. 
Oh, good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Three. Another three. Great. He's done for. That's it. You win. Really, that was, uh, what was that, two steps? Oh, good, Wally. So, so much for this run. Got about 10 minutes. Good, now Wally's more powerful. That's good. These are good things. Well, at least I was able to take him up faster than usual. And I leveled up. Strength is increased by three. Force is increased by three. Just very, very good. PP is increased by three. New, what's my new side power anyway? All right, create a save point. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, beyond the trees, there are, there is. Oh god, the ghost. Life up. That's good. All right, here's some hypnosis, mother. There was no effect on the ghost. Good. These are good things to hear. All right, well, hopefully I can use this bread beforehand. Ghost ran away, but it didn't work. I really wish it would've. God. It was one step. Come on. Thank God. Jesus. This thing is taking me out. Well, I'm dead. Hopefully I don't get killed in this next attack. Oh, wow. All right. Return to dust. Is good. Very good. Hmm. I better actually put some stuff on here. There we go. Oh. What was that? Like another two seconds? What are they doing? Oh, oh good. No. Yeah, hey. Whatever. No, sure. Why not? Let's just have it go on auto. Oh, boy. I don't know what to say. This is not the game I played. I played a very different and honestly engaging and more fun version of this title. Uh, okay, the switching who's confused. One's gone. It's so confused. Still love the writing.
<laughs> Forget, how do you even get in there? Okay, so here's, you know, here's my extended thoughts because uh, we've got another five minutes with this. Here's what I want to say. Please buy this game. I know I'm complaining a lot. Please buy this game. Why? Because you need to send a message that you want Mother 3. If Nintendo sees financial results from this game, there's a better chance that we will see Mother 3 eventually. And it's very important that we do. It's beyond just, you know, just complaining, oh, I wish I could play that game. Because you can, you can play it on emulation. But giving people a real way to support that title, it, it matters, it really matters. Yeah, you can just go play it on emulation and never pay a cent, but getting a real, you know, just bringing it over here. It, it means more than just playing a game. It means that the fans actually did something and that actually worked and that their voices were heard and that they Nintendo is listening. If they can get Mother 3 in America, what can't we get from Nintendo? Besides blood and Mortal Kombat 1. You know, that's, that's a deal breaker. They won't do that. I, I don't know. I mean, I would say plop down your, uh, your money on this and if you happen to come across a copy of Mother 1 and 2 with the translation patch on Game Boy Advance on your computer or maybe even like a on your uh, phone somehow, uh, I would say maybe check that out. If you fi happen to find something like that. I have no idea where you would get something like that, but uh... You know, if you happen to encounter something like that. <laughs> now I am too scared to leave this place. Um, I thought he was supposed to... Oh, that's not the guy. That's not the kid, huh? Cool. Well, there's another cemetery. There we go. You have to go down here and then go back up. Whoops, hit the wrong button. So yes, despite this being an inferior product compared to the advancements fans have made, I would recommend if you care about, you know, just games, if you care about games, if you want to say, yeah, we want this title that we've been begging for for over a decade to come to America, if you want to see if Nintendo will really listen to their fans, give them the seven bucks. That's what I would recommend, just because it's important, it's so important. And besides that, even if it's not just to the hardcore audience, maybe there's a kid out there that really liked Earthbound. You know, maybe there is. And he's going to go ahead and he's going to play Mother 3. And maybe that kid's going to grow up to be the next Shigeru Miyamoto. Who knows? Let's at least create that opportunity, you know? Okay, maybe that's a bit too far of a stretch of a hypothetical. But, you know, I'm just saying, guys. All right. Oh, gang zombie. There's some pretty funny dialogue, if I remember, from this guy. Jeez, he's gonna whoop my butt. Here comes another 11. Yep, yep. Smash! Oh, I dodged! I gotta be leveling up now. I have to. It's 120, yeah. I'm telling you, I played this game already. You know, I never beat it, but I have played this game, and it's worth playing on that emulated version. I'm repeating myself, because I don't know what else to say. It's so weird that they just dropped this ROM without any sort of changes, and it's just like this old translation that, you know, nobody really liked. At least Earthbound fans don't like. Well, let's see if I can get to that one part. I can't. Guys, that's going to do it for this episode of the first hour. Remember, like, subscribe, 
Leave your comments below. I know this episode was a lot of complaining. I apologize for that. But frankly, given the circumstances, uh, given my experiences, it's very difficult not to. Uh, yes, please buy this game. It will increase the prospects of Mother 3 and who knows what other kind of titles. It'll be communicating to Nintendo that these quirky, weird RPGs work. I mean, hell, when they when they couldn't come to a deal with uh, Square Enix on uh, a new Super Mario RPG, we got Paper Mario, which means we got Thousand Year Door, thanks to that. And yeah, the other ones that weren't maybe as hot. But if you can send a message to Nintendo, these weird RPGs are worth their time. We want them. Bring them here. Make new ones. That's worth it. And then just go ahead and... Uh, See if whether that Easy Ring version is, that Mother Plus One Two English translation. What is that? I don't know where you would find that, but I, I, I don't even know how you would even play a Game Boy Advance game on a computer. But, uh, you know. Huh. But, but please buy this game. Leave a comment, subscribe, thumbs up. I'm Colin Tanner. That's going to do it for this episode of the first hour. Thank you for watching.